before the hour mark, basically. That's that's pretty much what I'm banking on. I'm kind of just waiting for the uh, the, uh, the 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 clock to tick to one hour to four o'clock or so. I don't actually want to do this. I've already kind of gotten burnt out by this whole thing, so. I've only played a few hours of it, but you know, it's like continual hours of like just shoot 'em ups like this, and it's just like it's not that fun. It's not a game I'd be like, you know, trying to uh, try to do in like a like a single sitting or something like that. It's, it's not that exciting. And it's not that rewarding. It's just rough. Just a lot of minute dodging, or very very like dialed in dodging. So it's just not. For me. Mistakes like that that are gonna that are cost, gonna cost me later on. I won't be able to go to Wally World if I keep that up. in time so it doesn't even matter we're chilling we're good to go dude oops i guess the explosion of the smaller characters doesn't actually cause a chain reaction so. or not a big enough chain reaction to hit all the other characters it's only like effective to some get this going this going. Pabada hoo, pabada hoo. It's getting warm in here. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. How are you? Oh, nice. Good lord, it's really starting to heat up in this room. Goodness gracious. I'm kind of curious. What, what what's the weather like today? What is the weather like? Weather San Jose. Oh, it's 85 today. No freaking wonder. So it's probably gonna get to like 87 in my room because it's like horribly like just 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 not very well ventilated. I guess. Cafe vibes at home. Nice. Nice. Mmm, yeah, yeah, I get that. I get that. I need to start doing the same. That's actually a great idea. Just, like, set up a table and then just kind of, uh, not the most comfortable chair and just, uh, make it away from my computer and just have only, like, a book and, like, a sketchbook and then just kind of vibe out only with those. I mean, I got, like, these huge headphones. I don't need to worry about, like, you know, like, people exactly, uh, or people uh, bumping into me and, like, dropping their drinks on me. Not that it's ever happened before, but, you know, like... Stuff like that. Also, like, uh, like headphones like these, like, I'm not the most comfortable wearing in public. I mean, A, it, I don't know, I, just don't, I don't feel like it's appropriate to be wearing these out in public. But also, B, um, I, uh, the, the sound leaks out. So, small table. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Heck yeah. Yeah, you've, you, you're already on it. You already know. You're already, a ste like, a, a several steps ahead of me. Oh yeah, I don't know if you were a part of that stream, but uh, I was telling Evan that I got into Gumpla a little bit, and uh, I'm planning on going over to a shop called Tatsu Hobby tomorrow. I'm gonna check that out and see what the selection is like. Hopefully, I can pick up a, a nice kit uh, and just uh, just build away. Used to go there a lot for sure. 
I forget how, uh, how similar in taste that we have. Even though we've only, like, known each other for, like, a few years at this point, so... That's cool, that's cool. Yeah, Ami Ami's, I don't know if Ami Ami's uh, selection right now is even that good. I was looking at, I was just looking at it for a little bit, and uh, uh, Hobby, Hobby Lane Japan uh, seemed to have a pretty, pretty solid selection. They had a pretty big, uh, uh, pretty big library. International shipping is indeed killer. It is indeed. I think they like, uh, there, there's some site that like, uh, estimated that uh, high grades are going to be somewhere around like the ten twenty dollar like uh, shipping range. So if you're if you're shipping like from Japan, so it's got to be something that's worth it, really. Uh, fortunately, that means that like well like because if you buy from American sellers, obviously there's import prices kind of like attached on there, which is fine. Um, so there's that to consider. It's like slightly cheaper if you buy straight from Japan, but then the shipping gets gets you. So. Um, but I'd love to like you know get my hands on like a clear a clear kit or something at some point, uh, or maybe like a really hard to get uh, master grade or something like that. So, uh, but for the time being, I think I'm just gonna stick with. Uh... Oh, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome in. How are you? Uh, what is it? Um... Yeah, I'm only gonna start with high grades right now. I technically have. A, uh, a real grade that my dad got me. Uh, it's been sitting in the closet basically for like years at this point. Um, but uh, some sites or some uh, guides I was reading, I was like, yeah, you probably shouldn't start with a real grade. They're a little bit more like tiny pieces, and like I think I'm a little susceptible to like breaking like tiny pieces and like that. So I just got to be careful. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't. You know. I don't. I don't want to waste like a, a nice a nice server kit. I just like my recklessness. So, you're good? Good. Good to hear. Hope your day is going well. Uh, wherever you may be, I hope the weather is fantastic. If it is still the daytime for you, I actually, you know, advise you to uh, turn off this stream and just go outside and walk around a little bit or, you know, just take in the sweet fresh air. Uh... Because golly, it is a wonderful day. Maybe it's a little warm for some people. I actually like it warm. I don't mind, you know. Uh, <laughs> I don't. I don't mind a little bit of sweat. I suppose. Uh, there's no. There's no like kinder way or less gross way of saying that. But you know what I mean. Um, I'm, I'm more of a summer person than a, a winter. So, or at least I, uh, I guess that depends on which climate you're in. But yeah, you get what I mean. You get. You get what I'm saying. I hope you're picking up what I'm putting down. Let's see what's this. Uh, might be a little stressful. First build with a perfect grade. Oh frick! My goodness. Well, also, Chris, you you've got a. Uh, I don't know. You, you I I feel like you've got a very focused man. Uh, focused mind. I feel like you're able to do more minute things better than myself, at least. So, if you see me in my work. I'm, I'm more of like a a, a bigger canvas kind of guy, <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know how well uh, a perfect grade or even a real grade would uh, would fare for me. Uh, what is it? Uh, how do, how do I how do I what, what do I call you? I them I I the Mr. Plays. I'm gonna call you Plays. Plays. Uh, if you just tuned in, I'm going into a little discussion about Gunpla, or Gundam plastic models. Um, I just got into them recently. Uh, I mean, I, I think I built like a few like cheapo uh, kits uh, back in the day as well. But I didn't really like take the time to like really, you know, like... Like I only just had the, uh, the little clippers, the, uh, the nippers. And I just kind of did like the basic building off of that, but... Um, I never like took the time to like really like clean off and like sand down. And, uh, I don't know. Also, come with like interesting poses. I never had good poses. Uh, I think my very first uh, kit was either like, man, it's like a it's like a, a non-grade like RX 782, like the very like the OG Gundam. Um, but uh, yeah, I had like one of those. I think it's in a closet somewhere. And. Uh, 
what's, what is it? Um, yeah, so that, it was either that one, or I had a high-grade uh, GM, or a gym. Um, and I didn't really, like, again, I, I wasn't really aware of, like, cleaning up after, like, using, like, a crafting knife to, like, kind of, like, scrape off, like, nubs and all that. So, uh, it's not, it's not the greatest. Uh, but it's also, like, not the, I don't know, I don't feel like it's the best kit. I feel like it was a little bit, like, loose. Because uh, I'm, like, I'm, like, going over these, um, like, terminologies and, like, these, like, uh, practices that you do with, uh, Gumpla. Uh, real grade is 140, or one, uh, sorry, 1, 144, master grade is 100, and perfect is, oh, goodness gracious. Yeah, I mean, I still think perfect grade sounds like just like an absolute pain. It uh, sounds absolutely ridiculous. I don't know, because like, although it's larger, that means there's probably potential for like a lot more parts. Um... Which you know it makes it look cooler because like you, you you have that much more articulation, but yeah I don't I don't know well, I'm, I also don't have that much like you know disposable income at the moment so uh, and I don't I don't I'm not getting a steamy check because I didn't, uh, unfortunately work last year or the year before so I don't have any uh, taxes to file um, so yeah yeah basically real great is basically it's it's like the combination I've been told I've been told it's like the love child of like. Perfect and not perfect, excuse me. Uh, master and uh, master grade and high grade, um, which is really cool. I don't know. I like I like the sizes of those actually. The sizes are like pretty pretty convenient and uh, they're super poseable. I don't know if I told you, Chris, but I'm also looking at the. Uh, eventually, I'd like to build the uh, the Evangelion real grades that Bandai uh, released. Those things are really cool, mostly because the Evangelion like uh, bodies. Uh, as a real grade, like four, look really nice. They they look really cool. So um, if you haven't looked at looked that up already, I highly recommend uh, looking into it. They've uh, so far made one for uh, zero, one, and two, and five. I don't think four was made quite yet. Um, and although I don't particularly care for Mari, I actually do like her first Mecha or her first Ava. From the second movie, I think uh, the one with the lance. It's got like, like it's got like spider legs or something, or maybe it was four legs. I don't remember. But uh, that thing was slim. that thing was actually really, really cool. Uh, so I would love to have that as a real grade, dude. Oh man, think of it, dude. Because like the real grade, uh, the real grade body, the, the the inner core, whatever you call it, the inner frame, with all of that going on, dude. Oh baby. Oh my goodness. How exciting would that be? What an absolute delight that would be. Nice. Cool. Oh, heck yeah. We're in stage 7. We haven't even lost a life yet. Uh, let's see. A glass replica statue of Ramiel. Holy, that's... That's something for sure. Oh man, that's awesome. <laughs> Oh, as long as you enjoy it, and as long as you're not hurting anyone while you, you know, make a investment like that, that's fine. And it's Evangelion right now, so you know, I, I feel like any, I feel like any Evangelion merch right now is kind of like an investment. You could always kind of just sell it off later, and it'd probably make make its money back. Um, like I'm looking through some old figures uh, that I potentially had at one point, and like they're selling for quite a lot, so um, you're pretty much get your return for however much you spent on it and also had it in your possession and then just, you know, got rid of it, so. Like, any used item that you can, re like, you could resell for uh, the price that you paid it for and some is, like, always great. I, I feel that way. Even items that you can get, like, 80% of the value back from what it, from, from uh, from the new price, it's still like really does seem solid in my opinion. I feel like that's still a great, great old time. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go check out Tatsu Hobby. Never been. I'm really hoping. I have no idea what to expect. I don't know if I'm gonna expect something like. Oh man, because my, my experience with the hobby stores was like, I went to maybe a few when I was visiting Japan, um, 
and then, uh, well, okay, so the one hobby store I used to go to, like, a lot as a kid was a place called Hobby World. Um, that was over in, uh, Cupertino, yeah, Cupertino. That was, like, basically, like, across the street from Hyde Middle School. Um, I, I, I used to live in that area, so I used to go there, like, a lot. Um, and, like, I was, like, I think I was, like, decently into Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! at the time. But I mostly went to that hobby store because they were like the only store that I knew of that did Tamiya four wheel drives. Uh, they're like little like uh, cars that uh, have rollers on the sides, so they uh, just have like a motor that goes linearly, but uh, the rollers would help them like uh, go through the corners and like kind of like you know like, turn the, like roll against the corners really. So um, no frick on the last slide. That's fine actually. I think I can do this. Uh, but anyways, uh, so that's like my experience of a, a hobby shop, but I don't know if they ever had Gunpla. I, I don't recall. I don't know if Gunpla was ever actually that large in the United States prior to, um, like prior to like I guess like the 2000, like 2010s maybe? Um, cause like back in like 2000, ooh man, like 2005 or so, I, I died, but, um, Went to hide. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It definitely changed. I think. I think it like changed into like a. I don't know if it's still there. I. I doubt it. Uh, they went out of business, or they got bought out by some. Uh, I believe it was like a gymnastics, uh, gym or something like that. I think they were out of that area around two thousand six or so. Yeah. Yeah. No. It was. It was gone. It. It. It's been gone. Um. They kind of like again. They rearranged it a little bit before. Uh, they shut down, and I was like, eh, I'm not really feeling it. Um, yeah, Ho Hobby World was really funny. I, I, like, I remember distinctly, like, it had an arch before you go in, like, you go past the glass doors of the entrance, and then, like, there's an arch that you go through, and it was, like, blue-themed. Um, and then, like, to the immediate left was your cards. I think to the right was, like, RC cars, and then, and, like, model cars, and then straight forward was, to me, a four-wheel drives. Um... Tatsu, yeah, I, I, uh, I was going through their Instagram and apparently they, uh, vendor, uh, they vend over at, uh, Anime Expo and all that, so, uh, yeah, I, I guess I may have seen them before, I, I might recognize some of the faces if, uh, the employees are the ones that they, uh, you know, get out there to, uh, sell the merchandise, or if they, like, I don't know, if they, like, get some other friends in the area to do it for them, but, um, yeah, and that's, you know, that's, that's also exciting because, um, Oh wow, interesting. Huh. I I guess the owner is the. Oh, I mean, so from from what Evan tells me, I'm gonna get back in this game and hopefully not get too distracted. From what Evan tells me about Tatsu Hobby, it's like it's very like passionate, uh, gunpla like enthusiasts. Um, it doesn't seem like it's like not just dudes who are like in it for the money. Uh, so uh, I I imagine it, like the owner actually like wanted to just go check out the gunpla, uh, like. Uh, or go check out Gumpla uh, overseas. Uh, not only to bring some exclusives back to sell, but uh, just to see, like, you know, what's, what's new in the, the Gumpla world and all that. Um, like, the model kit world's kind of fun. Like, I know, like, uh, more recently, uh, they came, they're coming out, or they came out with a drama series. It's like Gundam meets. Uh, military simulation meets like laser tag girls or something. It's called a uh, oh man, it's like Gun Girl. No, what is it called? It's like Gun Girl Gal or something like that. It, it's it's some ridiculous new IP that they're trying to get out. And uh, you can you can not only buy. I think it's like uh, oh man, how do I like describe this? It's like. They have these little, like, guns, um, and, like, those guns are, like, the main weapon that they use, but I think they transform using, like, little figurines? I don't know, dude, it's, 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 you'll, you'll have to look it up on Bandai, but it's, like, it's a pretty funny concept, and, like, the guns look, like, decently cool, but, um, yeah. The other thing I want to get into, so, so the thing I'm really looking forward to tomorrow is trying to get a, um, a set, or a... I don't believe it's frame arms. Uh, there is, however, what am I thinking of? 
yeah. There's frame arms. There's frame arms. Frame arms girls. There's that. But uh, it's a separate thing altogether. It's like it's a, like a live action like drama thing. So it's I don't know. Looks interesting to me. Uh, I have no interest in it. But um, what is it? Uh, what, what am I thinking here? Uh, oh right. So the thing I want to get into is called Thirty Minute Missions. I don't think it actually has any like distinct storyline. I think they're literally just Gumpla for the sake of Gumpla. Um, so uh, they're just like miniature versions. I think they're probably like like 70% or 75% of the size of like a high grade. Um, but I believe they're like kind like a, they're a little bit more advanced and uh, maybe I don't know. Maybe they're not as rigid. But so like the whole idea about like the 30 minute missions is that they're like very very modular. So you can just kind of like take off like the leg of one thing and slap it onto a different uh, figure. Um, Oh, and they're also, like, compatible with high grades of Gunpla for, like, whatever reason. That's, like, one of their, like, selling points, I guess. I don't know what I'm gonna do with a, a chainsaw gun uh, on, like, a Zaku 2, but I guess they give you that option, so... That is a thing. Um... <laughs> but yeah, 30 Minute Missions looks really cool, and it's, like, a perfect size. They're very, very affordable. They're, like, $10, $15 per kit. Um, and they sell a bunch, and I mean a bunch, of additional parts that you can then add later on to like make it into like a submarine mode or like make it into like a heavy arms mode or something like that. It's it's absolutely just kind of like, uh, it, it feels very uh, child oriented, but I'm okay with it because freaking the inner child of me is all like, heck yeah, dude, that sounds dope. <laughs> that was freaking great, dude. Upgraded armor and everything, man. Freaking spec ops mode. Heck yeah, dude. Give me more of that. Heck yeah, buddy. If we're joking, you're speaking my language. I, f I forgot I ran right into that. Um, that might win you a competition. <laughs> nah, I don't think uh, any 30... Actually, no, I can't be too sure. But I'm pretty sure a 30-minute mission wouldn't win me a competition. At least not my, the level I'm at right now. Oh, Tatsu Hobby is actually doing a uh, promotion right now. I think it's them. Uh, where you can, like, drop off a GM that you've made. And it's just, like, whoever has the best GM, just, like... I don't know what you, what you win, actually. I may be just bragging rights, but it's kind of cool. I really like the concept of, like, having a community like that. That can be like, hey, let's, like, appreciate this one character. Who th apparently they call Cannon Fodder. I I'm not, like, too familiar with the Gundam series. Um, I just started watching G Gundam, and it's so freaking hilarious, I love it. Um, and it's like absolutely up my alley, because it's like very like... It's kind of like mind-numbing shonen, where it's just like, oh, it, it's basically like Monster of the Week. Where it's just like, oh, this guy's gonna fight like the the representative of like Mexico or something. Or like, oh, he's fighting against the representative of Canada. Oh cool, I won. Hooray. That's the easy mode. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Um, kit bashing. Yeah, yeah, kit bashing is a, like a, a phrase or a, a term I've been hearing uh, a lot. I think it's on Evan's stream, it was like Evan, and it was either Hong or uh, I think it's Hong, maybe not Kenji. Uh, I don't think he was on there, but yeah, people were talking about big kit bashing. I'm like, uh, uh sure, dude. Uh, what up, Evan? Hey, I'm just talking about how hyped I am for uh, freaking uh getting over to Tatsu, and like, I want to check out if they have 30 minute missions still. Uh, we're gonna skip the storyline, blah blah blah. Violence never gardener? Oh no. Oh, right, right, right. Oh, that's, yeah, that's tonight, isn't it? Heck yeah, that's exciting. That's very, very exciting. Oh, wow. McTikToks. Interesting. Yes, I would like to save my replay. Yes. Cool. Alright, well that's easy mode. Um, 